Agriculture.com. I'm here with Mike from Lost Profits here at Vans Warped Tour. Just a little bit sweaty. Just no, a little bit. It's a lot bit sweaty. Yeah, very sweaty. <laughs> kind of feels like... I feel like we're kind of by the swamp. Do not go in there. I'll tell you a story about that later. Gators? Do you have gators in there? No. no the, the smell? Just don't do it. I've seen it. We've seen it. It's all. Kind of feels like the world's coming to an end, which is something that this Warped Tour sort of celebrated. <laughs> yeah. um, if if the world was coming to an end, not saying I think it will, what's the last song you want to be listening to? Um, I'll take London Calling by The Clash. Ooh, good one. I like it's that kind one. of like it's kind of about London, uh, almost like the apocalypse in London. Anyway, so it's a, remind me of home a little bit as well. Good. I like that. It's non-traditional, so I like that. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's. Yeah. What are the benefits of playing warp tour this year? Um, we just. Oh, I mean, it's just it's our first time, so so for us it's kind of all new, you know. Like, and we haven't toured in the U.S. for six years, so it's nice for us to come back over here. And, so it's a good way for us to kind of get out in front of people, and rather than doing our own tour or doing the support or whatever, you know, it's and, and the response has been amazing. You know, we've had great crowds every day, and, and it's been perfect for us. Uh, what's been your favorite performance either this year or any of the ones that you've been a, a guest at? Uh, was it the favorite show that we played this year? Or just any performance just that you witnessed that you Oh, my. Um, um, well, I, I, guess, I guess it was last year, but it was in the year. So I'll, 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 I went to see uh, Jimmy World, one of my favorite ever bands. So I got to see them play Big American in, in its entirety. Front to back, so that was pretty. Uh, that was pretty special. For me. <laughs> uh, with so many bands and so many short sets, how do you stand out? Um, I think you just got to go out there and kind of just just do your thing. You know, it's like so many. You can have gimmicks and like whatever else, you know. But we try and stay away from that and just trying to like try and just do our thing and just try and put on the best show that we can, you know. And they, I. We don't want to come off just being contrived or anything like too convoluted. So we just, like I say, we just try and do our thing, and ultimately, I guess we hope that kind of the music and our performance stands up. So, what can fans expect from a Lost Rocket set? I think just like a lot of energy, um, just us having fun, and then hopefully the fans having fun too. You know, that ultimately that's what we want. You know, we want people to come and watch us and have a good time and jump around and sing along and, yeah. and, and then, you know, we love to feed off the crowd, you know, we love the crowd, like, like I say, we have a lot of energy on stage, so we want the crowd to kind of have a lot of energy and get into it as well, and, and then, like I say, we feed off each other. I have some bands in between albums will release an EP or a reload or remix or something on vinyl. Which yeah. would you prefer to do? Um, well, I, we, we, well, we might possibly do an EP after this. So, you know, I mean, remixes are always fun. Um, we've done we've done a couple of a couple of those, and, and we've had people do remixes for us, and we've done remixes for other people as well. And that's that's always fun. But I don't know. It's, 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 I think it's always nice to get new music out. Um, social media is something fairly new in the past mm. five, five or six years or so. What role does social media play in your fans? Um, quite a big one, I would say. I mean, even back to when we first kind of started and first got signed, the internet played a big part, kind of in in our band and kind of getting the word out. It was kind of how people kind of in the States initially heard of us, you know, through, through a couple of music websites and stuff, so, I mean, now we, do, we use Twitter, you know, we use Twitter and we use Facebook and stuff like that, so, um, we just kind of use it as a tool to just kind of keep in touch with people. Don't go overboard on it, you know, it's kind of nice to have a little bit of mystique, a little bit. You don't, you you don't tell them everything you're yeah, doing? Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> like, well, and then, you know, we all kind of have personal Twitters and stuff like that as well, but we try and keep the band you know, info about the band, but it's a cool way to like keep in touch with people and then we use Instagram and post some photos and that kind of Facebook, we put photos up and stuff, so it's 
it's pretty cool. It's good. Yeah, it's good. It's, I think it's good for me. So what's up next for Lost Profits? Uh, well, we finish up Warp Tour, and then we do uh, a week of our own shows in California and kind of the West Coast, Nevada, Arizona. Um, and then, because basically we missed the first half of Warp Tour, we only jumped on halfway through, so we missed the whole West Coast. So we're going to do our own shows there. And then we're going to go to Japan to do Summer Sonic in Japan. Um, take, take a little bit of time off. And then at the end of the year, we're going to... We're closing out Warp Tour in the UK, um, which is going to be good. It's like the first one in like 15 years or something. So we're going to do that and then do our own kind of tour around that. I think maybe go to Russia. Um, and then hopefully come back to the States with me next year. Wow, you are really traveling. <laughs> you don't stop traveling. What's your favorite country? It sounds like you've been to many, many, many. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I love them all in, in terms of, in, for different reasons, you know? I mean, it, it's... Is there a uh, country that you really are dying to go visit now? Yeah, I really want to go to South America because that's one place we've never been, you know? Like, I love, I love the U.S. and I love Australia and I love Japan and, you know, Germany and France and everything, they're all amazing, but I've been to those countries countries a lot now, so for, for me now it's cool for us to start going to places where we've never been before, so yeah, I really want to go to like Brazil, Argentina, maybe like South, South Africa as well, you know, just kind of some more unique places. Sounds like that's very possible <laughs> yeah. for you, so Possibly, yeah, I yeah, wish you yeah. the best. Yeah. Um, our website merges entertainment and charities and social causes. Okay. Is there any charities that either you or your bandmates support or would like to support in the future? Um, yeah, we do some, we've do some. done some stuff in the past for Help the Heroes, which is a, it's a British charity that helps um, war veterans to come back who've been injured, injured, uh, injured in the war. So we've done, we've, we've done a couple of things for them. And, I'd love to get a little bit more involved with them as well. I've also done some work for a um, British cancer charity called, it, it, it's called Macmillan, which is, um, if, if, it, it, they helped my grandfather a lot when he had cancer. They basically, it's a, it's a, it's a charity that nurses will come to your house and, and kind of help you out and, and stuff like that. So yeah, we've done some stuff with them. So, I mean, I think those two causes are two things that have been kind of, mean a lot to us, so we'll try and help them out as much as we can. Thank you so much, I wish no you the best. Thank you, thanks very much.